Well, pulling away from the house, just starting to get on the road. We are on the road to Canada. Holy smokes, what a drive this is gonna be. So, my plan here is, I am gonna drive five hours to Omaha right now. It is 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm leaving, gonna get there this evening, just go straight to bed, and then we're gonna get up at about five o'clock in the a.m. and drive 10 hours straight through to the Winnipeg area. But this is uh, the third trip of the season already, and <laughs> goose season hasn't even started here in Kansas, and I'm already into my third trip. Uh, the first one was Nebraska, and then the second one was Minnesota, and now we are headed to Canada. Canada, 15 total hours of drive time for me, and it never, never, ever gets easier waving goodbye to the family, the kids and the wife, and them dogs. It, it never... It never gets easier. Waving goodbye to him will tug on the old heartstrings quite hard. It, like I said, it just never gets easier leaving the family. Um, I'm so blessed to have a family and a wife and children that understand what Daddy does, and um, couldn't be more th could not be more thankful for that. Um, but yeah, you know how it is. All you dads out there, moms and dads that have to uh, travel to do your job. It, it can get it can. It can really, like I said, it, it just never, ever gets easier leaving. But, um, so yeah, we're headed to Omaha, Nebraska. We're going to stay at Flair's house tonight. All of the Ducks crew is going to be there. There are two filmers, two videographers that I don't know. We're going to meet. One's name is Colton. And then the other is the Diverge 6 winner of last year, I believe. If you guys know what that is, the hashtag contest. Uh, so awesome, awesome photographer coming along as well. And we'll have old John from Mendek Outdoors. He'll be filming as well. And I'll be filming my own videos. They, I might get one from him, but uh, it's going to be Bobby probably filming his own videos like usual. But we're going to get on the road enough talking. I'll either pick up the camera at a gas station or at a McDonald's or in Omaha or something. I love seeing combines and grain carts and semis out in the field, man. I used to, uh, a lot of you don't know, I used to do custom harvesting a ton. That used to be my main job. I used to travel uh, all the way, I, I think, hell. Oh, here's another one. Like I was saying, I used to uh, custom cut. The farthest north that I had ever been was Montana. Sunburst, Montana was the north, most northern point I have ever cut. And we actually cut barley up there. So, shout out to all my farmers. Shout out to all my custom cutters, all my combine operators, grain cart drivers, super truckers. Yeah, I've been there, done it. I miss it a ton. I miss waiting in the lines of elevators, cleaning out headers on combines. When you stuff them full of wet straw, I miss it all. I really do. I miss farming a bunch. Well, we are just coming into uh, York, Nebraska. Uh, if any of you are from York, Nebraska, drop a comment down below and let me know. But enough of the talking. We only got a hair over an hour left of this here drive, and it's actually went really well. I've barely even turned on the on the radio. Let's see what we got on here. You go 45 yeah. with white plastic grips. Billy the Kid. That's a good old tune right there. Barely even been listening to the radio. Just been just been churning in my head like, holy cow, this is nuts. I'm actually going to Canada because of a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel, but because of YouTube. Like, I never in a million years would have thought that I'd be taking the biggest hunting trip of my life due to YouTube. I mean, this here YouTube channel has just gotten huge, and it's all because of you guys. You guys have made it successful. I've worked my butt off, but if it wasn't for you guys helping me grow it, it wouldn't do anything. So, before we get on this here Canada, Canada, Canadian journey, I want to tell you all thank you. Thank you so much. It's hard leaving the family, but I wouldn't want to be doing as far as a career, as far as anything in my life, as far as anything in general, I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. Thank you guys. <coughs> it is the next morning, as you can tell. My eyes are going, oh, it's too early for this. What are you doing? 
Ready for Canada today? Oh, hey, oh, Ricky, hey, where's the pup? So, me and Brad are in my truck. We got old Bonzo and Flare Daddy down yonder in the old Yoda. And we are pulling off, headed to Canada from Omaha. We're gonna have a 10 hour drive. And uh, I don't think any of us could be more excited. It's gonna be one heck of a, a man trip, a mancation. We're gonna bring a ton of awesome filming to y'all. I really hope y'all are ready. Ricky! Well, hey, hey, there he is. God dang, look at that hoodie. Oh. It's all sorts of saucy, boys. Ugh. Go ahead. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh yeah. What are you doing today? What are you getting? I'm mixing it up. What are you gonna get? Full Green send. apple? Full send. Oh, yeah. I've never seen that one. Oh, oh it is 4.45 in the morning. What does Bob want here? <laughs> Uh, oh, I just want, I just want to get jacked up, freaking. What do we want? What oh. the hell are you doing? Dope shots, bro. <laughs> uh, what we do for dope footy. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if you recognize this place, but your boy was just here, what, two, three weeks ago? It was the canoe video. So you guys seen the public canoe hunt where I was in the canoe shooting the ducks? Yeah, that video. This is where I stayed. This is John's house. November 2nd. Yeah, it'll, it'll be over yeah, yeah, November 2nd. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Yo! Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Look at that. No, they made me take the old wow. goggles off, dude. I was like, what the f what the heck? It's a disgrace. I don't think take the old seers off. Cheese and rice. About, about said the F bomb, man. Sorry, sorry, guys. Yeah, but we... Oh, hey, sorry, sorry. <laughs> did, did I scare you? Cheese and rice. You guys rice. ready? Are you ready to go? Let's, let's go. Mm -hmm. Better watch your mouth, boy. <laughs> I didn't say a word. <laughs> hoo, hoo, hoo. Well, what do you got over there? Yum. Well, Canadian special, eh? Oh, my goodness. Ooh, ooh. Well, uh, we're all heading out here, ready to rail. Um, we're all pretty amped up, not gonna lie. We're in Moorhead right now, Moorhead, Minnesota. And uh, I'm gonna tell you what, I miss this place. We absolutely destroyed the Greenheads, the Woodies, and the Honkers last time we were here. I love Moorhead. Shout out to all my Fargo people, my Moorhead people. Uh, last time I was up here, you guys showed a bunch of love. I really appreciate it. But, we're headed to the border. See if we can get through the border without uh, too much trouble. Well, we are at the Canadian border and as you can tell, wow, there's a long, long line of semis. I'm hoping that it ain't gonna take this long. Whoa! Anyways, it's 2.30 in the afternoon on uh, Wednesday the 24th, isn't that right? 24th? Yeah. 24th. 24th and uh, man, we are all so darn pumped to get up here. I mean, honestly. We made it in, I'm here. Woo, that took probably about two hours. I'm, I'm not even kidding, wow. Bobby didn't have the best pass back in the day and uh, when, they, when you come across the border they look at all your stuff. I'm not saying I was a criminal or anything for God's sakes. I'm just saying, didn't make the best choices back in the day. Always, 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 always think about what you do before you do it because there's certain things that will haunt you, it'll follow you, it will, it'll literally haunt you to where it'll limit you from doing these things right here. I almost didn't make it in here. I don't want to tell you why. I'm sure you guys can guess, but uh, we're here. Okay, I'm sure you guys are all wondering like, oh, 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 Bobby's crazy, yada, yada. No, 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 no. There were some things that happened back when I was young, 21, 22, I'm sure you can guess what it is. But like I said, always think about what you do before you do it because I darn near didn't get into Canada. I am not gonna lie. I mean, was it close, Bradley? Damn close. 
seriously. So I want to say one thing. Literally, I'm not going to put my business all out there, you know what I mean, about what I did or anything. But uh, just guys, guys, I know I'm 32. A lot of you are probably younger than me. Some of you are older. But always think about what you do before you do it. I know you've probably heard that a million times. But like I said, something that I did 11, 12 years ago almost didn't allow me to come film a Canada video for y'all. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it wasn't even that big of a deal. But it just goes to show, be smart. Be smart, friends. Welcome to Canada's first hunt. First hunt in Canada, oh my goodness. And look behind me. I know you see that lovely little trailer back there. Woo. Today, we're gonna have like 10 guys. It's gonna be like a 10-man hunt. First day, uh, we had just been treated like gold out here. I mean, um, these guys really, really, really uh, treat us well, I have to say. They're, they're awesome. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, I know, it's dark. You can't see it very well. But I will show you more in the light. This thing is amazing. Holy smokes. If you guys are unaware for some odd reason and don't know what Ducks is, it is what supports this here channel. It's what brings y'all all these saucy videos. And I'll tell you what, I can't thank them enough. We are trying to do big things out here at Ducks. Uh, if you haven't checked out all of our apparel, like this right here, like that right there, go down in the description below and check it all out after this video. But right now we're going to get on the road. I got to get some caffeine in me. I only got three hours of sleep. It's been a rough one. We drove 18 hours straight yesterday. Never stopped. So we didn't pull in here till about 1030. Yeah, we've been at it. So stay tuned. It's going to be one heck of a video. Holy smokes. You all you girls awake or? Not really? Not really? Gravity. Goodness. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. How dusty it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's only like four inch tall stubble, but we do have a little tree row. Thank goodness. We're gonna bury the A-frames in the little tree row and uh, we gonna be gone. The only bad thing, we're gonna be getting blazed in the face by the sun, uh, but we didn't think that this hide was even out here. So fortunately, we're gonna be gone. Holy smokes. Well, the wind isn't like completely favorable. Uh, it's actually going to be in our face. The only hide we have is we're going to have to work with a wind that's right in our face, the sun right in our face. So what we're doing is uh, the bird should actually come over our right yeah. shoulder to land. So we're leaving the spread really loose, really wide open. We're not packing it tight at all. The silos are the, all, all the silos are going to be set real big in a J. So we're using the honkers right on the kill hole. So that's what they're focused on is a good looking is a big foot, and then all these silos will just kind of fill in on the back side of them. So. Only bad thing is, is uh, the wind. The wind's gonna be right in our grill. Oh, hello, boys. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, God. Dude, I'm telling you, the, the freaking character of the bunch. You've been hugging everybody. What have you been? You wanna where hug? Where you go? <laughs> yeah. You, God, you're just handing them out. What are you doing, Billy? Uh, getting ready. I think the most badass water film ever made. You're correct. So, meet Colton. Uh, Flair and Hammer, are at really close. Look at this camera. If y'all don't know what the heck that is, show them the little label on the other side. There, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. He he. <laughs> but yeah, Colton, dude. You guys got to turn. You guys got to tune into Flair's video. It's gonna be ridiculous. So, mine suck. We we all know that. Here's the old spread. We put out uh, all 20 dozen Canada silos. And they have like one or two hundred, no, they have like one hundred full bodies, so. You ready? I'm ready, you ready? Yeah, what do you think hey, of the spread? You like it? I'll, I'm loving it. The I'm dive bomb's the looking juicy. Front. Loving the ducks out front? Yeah. Where? That one other one. I don't know, someone said there's ducks over right there, that big one. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Forgot about that. Oh, hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we'll call you bull in there, Bob. 
Oh, you noticed, huh? Check out the new ducks calls. Oh my goodness, we got the goose, we got the duck. And you guys have been asking forever, and I'm sorry for it took so long, but the lanyards are back in stock. But gun straps, lanyards, everything, all paracord items are back in stock. Check the description below at the end of the video. So this is the boss lanyard. This is, it stretches. It's awesome. It's comfortable. It's loose. Uh, it's one of our new ones here at Duck. So check the link in the description. Check them out. Go grab you one. On the left, on the left, on the left, on the left. Get ready. Don't call much. Don't call much. They're doing it. They're doing it. Try them. Two, three. Nice. That's a long shot. Good yeah. shooting, boys. Good shooting, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. We got walkers, boys. Yep. Oh, goodness. Get him, get him. <laughs> Woo! All right, first bird's down. She can shoot him in the head if you want. dead that boy is dead do we got bands boys no band next yeah first three birds down whoo it was a long shot your boy is winded oh my god well if you guys are enjoying the little hunt here oh god i'm out of breath give your boy a big old thumbs up oh I'm out of shape still. Goodness. Oh yeah, first rollers came in. The boys are hype. You like it? Oh, dab on that booty. What, what, oh. Dang! Got the rhythm and the rhyme, son. So, a little news, a little update. That was, uh, that four pack did it really well. What we learned here, we have a lot of decoys really far away from the blind. That's, that's one of the things, very far away. So when we're calling, when they're, when they're giving it up and they're really sitting their wings and getting into the spread, we're having to shut up. So we're getting their attention when they're way out. When they get to about 50, 70 yards, we're shutting up. And uh, that they did it really well. They kind of skirted out away from us a little bit. It was a long shot, but uh, we downed three out of four. It wasn't bad. Cannot be aggressive with these birds. They do not like heavy calling. They like a very, very, very big landing area. So we just ended up switching up the spread. Uh, the wind actually switched about 90 degrees on us. So it's actually a better wind than it was earlier. So. They're actually coming from over the left shoulder instead of the right because the wind switched. So we've adjusted the spread probably three to four times, but it really helps. So the reason why you have to quit calling, guys, is when you have decoys 50, 40, 60 yards away from your blind, especially when you have the body of the decoys out there, it's uh, you, you have to be quiet because the noise is not coming from where the decoys are. The noise is coming away. So they're going to see that and notice it when they're really getting over the spread. So, always pay attention to that on your first sets. If they're rolling in and you're and you're still clucking and they're over the spread but all the decoys are away from you and they're they're flaring bad, get them at 70 yards, shut off the call. This is for honkers, not lessers. Lessers, you can just jam on them, but you know, the old guys, they're picky. We've seen some birds, but uh not many. There's just not many here. What happened was, it's, a, it's one of them stories. Let me tell you what happened. This is what happened was, we got in last night and, uh, they had, they, and they had a field lined up. It was chocked full of mallards and honkers. Well, at about 9.30 last night, the farmer called and he said, hey, sorry to tell you, uh, you guys aren't gonna be able to hunt it. My family uh, wants to hunt, yada, yada, yada. So you know how that goes. It happens quite a bit. Um, so this was a random field that was just in a good flight line. So um, the flight line has shifted, the birds have shifted. So we killed three big old honkers, but uh, what we're gonna do, we're, we're loading up here. Look at this, oh, 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 
Oh, yeah, I know you see it. Oh my goodness, look at it. Seriously. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. We got the big mallard on this side. So yeah, uh, the trailer, a huh, lot prettier than I am. Yo, what up guys? So, as you can tell, I'm back in the shop. I am back in town here in Kansas, but I have like three videos coming your guys' way. I didn't close out this video here very well in the field. So, the next video coming up, uh, I think it's going to drop Thursday. You guys better be expecting it. It's our first big gravy beat them down, stack them up hunt. And let me tell you, it was a green head pile up. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to drop this video for you guys. I'm actually cutting it right now inside. But I just wanted to have a decent ending to the video and give you guys a little bit of information on what to expect to come. Expect some great videos to come. We got into two really good hunts and a few decent ones. So the next video is going to be fire. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Canada vlog so far. This was mainly just a travel vlog. But I wanted to show you guys what we went through, the journey, how big of an adventure it was, and just... Just show you guys everything I possibly could. So if you like this video right here and you're excited for the rest, drop me a big ol' thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Hit the button down below, turn on the notification bell, guys, because the Canada Vlogs are going to be lit. Thank you guys for being here. Without you guys, I couldn't do this. Thank you to Ducks for supporting the entire trip. Thank you for watching, y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Dude, the mallards in there are insane. They just all got up. And then, and then two, three,